Alrighty, Sunday, January 10th. Hope everybody had a nice holiday. Got together, hugged, kissed, went out, drank some beers together, partied, acted like human beings. I certainly did, and uh, we'll continue to do that. Um, till the day I'm dead, I guess, right? <laughs> anyway, um, just a quick comment on how poorly done scene one, act one, went <laughs> with the uh, um, beginning of the show we talked about before the holiday. Because that division is necessary, like I said, bringing in lockdowns the way they are all over the globe wouldn't work here yet. Too many armed people who are realizing this is bullshit, who were counting on their savior still to step in and stop all this lunacy. Well, that didn't happen. It was never going to happen. And now, of course, they're going to use the situation to call anyone who says anything that they don't like a domestic terrorist. So step into it. Realize, fuck them. That's the same thing that happened in Nazi Germany. Not going to let it happen here. Not going to let it scare me. Not going to let them uh, frighten me or coerce me into being quiet because um, I know this is bullshit. And if the realization has not hit you now that there's no one in government that's going to save you, all these governments are together, country after country, lockdown after lockdown. They are puppeted by people to work these agendas into their uh, mindsets of their constituency and to get them to go along. And at this point now, that part's over. You are now being dropped like a bad habit and marked for, um, uh, you know, potential domestic terrorism if you dare to want your freedom in the free country that you were born in. If you dare want to be able to speak your mind, say what you want, then that's insurrection. And again, it's always been set up to be this. And of course, the puppet that just puppeted the past four years is just as much as a part of the puppet that's coming in for the next four. So, sorry to uh, break the news to you, you know. How you doing? Good. All right, good. Um, and that news should be broken already, really. If you uh, have a half a brain. Hi, how are you? Good, hello. Good, good. Um, because if you didn't see the lunacy of how they're just laughing and how they didn't even try to make it real looking, you know? These guys were let in and their goat hats and their fucking Viking helmets. <laughs> And their makeup, like they're at a college football game. Burn, 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 burn. Go, Texas! You know what I mean? It's for the fucking... Oh, God. Talk about laughing, man. Laughing hilariously. And, um, you know, the entirety of it staged to do the same thing they do in other countries when they protest legitimately against the uh, corporate America um, takeover that's been going on in, I don't know, places like Syria, Iraq, Venezuela, you know, I mean, you name it, you know, they're trying to do, to do to Iran, they do all over Africa, so I don't fall down. <sighs> this is how they do it when the people protest. They send in their own, create the violence, sell the violence to the people, however they want. So they can bring in the laws that they want to then go out and keep everyone safe by cracking skulls like the uh, fucking dude on Breakfast Club. <laughs> you know, sorry if you don't get that, but that is what you've been ignoring going on all over the world that this government is the leader of. But believe me, all of them are there. Britain, Israel, Saudis, they're all part of doing the same things that we think the evil dictator governments are doing only, you know. And those that they're doing it to, 
the Russia and the China that we think are on the other side. It's all stage. It's all show. The world is to be like the combination of uh, China, Russia with socialism, communism, and fascism all rolled into one being policed by AI and surveillance and technology and trackers and listening devices and dumbed down populations that just do what they're told. You can't see that that's where the whole entire globe is trying to move to. And you still think, you know, one government is different than the other. Well, then you're still trapped. And you're unable to see that Trump not getting in doesn't fucking matter. It was going to happen the way it was going to happen no matter how you voted. If the entire planet voted for the guy, it wouldn't matter. And if they wanted him still in there to do whatever they wanted him to do, he'd be in there. But it's time for this part. It's time to forcibly bring in the lockdown, expose those that are going to stand up, expose, of course, those that think they're going to stand up and don't, that eventually just go on and do what they're told, and separate them from those who will stand up and not do what they're told because it's fucking retarded, it's unhealthy, it's against my rights, and it's going to um, uh, change my body in ways that I don't want changed. How's that? How's that, fuck nuts? There you go. See? And those people, of course, will be the real domestic terrorists. You know, you Trumpians are being used to weed all of us out so we can expose ourselves. People that really aren't getting it and really aren't going to take your bullshit. Um, and what we need is all the rest of you to come out of your, your delusion, to realize that you never had any power. The entire four years was to keep you standing down, hoping and waiting for the hero that was never meant to come. Now you're at a point where if you don't realize it now, you're going to be used in ways to completely bring in a police state that will make uh, the Nazis look like a day camp because they didn't have all the surveillance and technology, you see. So they know how many times you shake it in the bathroom, you know, um, like we do now. And that living that way and sentencing your children and grandchildren to live that way is not what the fuck you're doing here. That maybe what you're doing here is to do everything you can to resist that so that doesn't happen, no matter what it costs. Everything's an illusion here anyway. You think you own things? You think that... Any given moment, no matter what you do, they can't come in and take away whatever the fuck they want from you. Um, are you going to take the crumbs they have thrown you that you use to make your living and live in your survival, uh, you know, uh, ways of having enough and doing the shopping and doing paying for this and doing the bills and all the things that preoccupy your mind? Are you so afraid to lose that mechanism of survival that you will willingly sell your soul to keep it that's actually the lesson you're here to learn is that not that's not what you want to do so we will see as i've been saying this is the time these are the moments um i have hope and to be honest the faith i have is little <laughs> but i have it but um unless i really start to see people flagrantly um, not complying with this, not taking the jab, not wearing the masks, not pretending this is real but not a big deal and it's going to go away and we'll, we'll do it for until you see people really saying, you know, I've had enough. Um, you know, I... I look at it as a, uh, a crapshoot. <laughs> but as Max Egan says, you know, facing infinity without flinching is, of course, part of doing this, you know. The outcome I cannot control. There are things I can control. My own behavior. That's it. The knowledge I take in, how I perceive it, how aligned to truth that is, and then how I enact that in the world. That's all I can do. That's the conscious level that I have been given to um, aid in this transformation into freedom. And then that is supposed to hopefully be um, looked upon by others 
and use to bring others courage to do the same thing because uh, there are things I can't control and you can't control and that's these idiots and whether they're going to get it or not. So it might all go to hell. It's part of it, you know, but would you rather it not all go to hell and we just continue down this road of total, total walking into the worst tyranny you could possibly think of with uh, total um, um, compliance to it? Or would you rather do what you came to do, which is stand in the truth, say no to evil, try to change the world for yourself, for your kids and grandkids, all the way up until the moment that you can't anymore. And that doesn't mean I can't because I have to eat or because I'm getting whipped or, or shut out. It means because your vehicle to do that is no longer functioning. That's what you're here to do. Enough of us do that. You've saved the fucking world. Think about that, you know. Um, if not, you've helped to um, uh, plunge the world into the tyranny that's going to follow. Think about that. There is only one right and wrong. There's no more fence walking, as I've said before. There is no more I thought this. Your actions are going to determine where this goes. Our individual actions and how that translates into the collective. Are we going to change the momentum of tyranny we're headed into by standing in truth, or are we gonna allow it to continue? That's it. There isn't anything else. So, all right, just wanted to check in. We'll start doing more of these um, and um, getting uh, the indoor show um, some debuts on here as well. Been playing around with that as well. Um, so, we'll be back in business. Talking, bitching, laughing, pointing stup stupidity out. Talking about whatever retarded shit I want. And uh, in no way going to allow myself to censor myself. Because I'm afraid that that's going to be just considered the best of cares. Bullshit. Fucking free speech, the foundation of this fucking country. How dare you? You know, fuck that ridiculous shit. Speak your mind. Love you guys. Get learning and speaking.